Hey, I'm Garrett. And I'm Christy. And we're Big Road Adventure. And today we're installing the back bumper, a destroyer from LOD on our Jeep Rubicon 2019 JL. This bumper has been great. So we've actually had it on the Jeep for a year and a few months now. And it's been awesome. But we shot this when we put it on a year and a half ago. And we thought we'd share what we went through to put it on. So enjoy the video. And if you need to install the front bumper, check out our video from last week. The first step is to get rid of that old plastic ugly Jeep bumper. To get started you need to take off the tow hook on the back. First remove the two bolts at the bottom. The next step is to remove the two bolts on the tail hook. The top bolt is tough to get to so use a ratcheting wrench. The second bolt is easier so you can use a normal socket. Unfortunately you can't reuse the tail hook with the new bumper. The next step is to remove the plastic shrouds on the bumper. These are a series of 8mm bolts. The next step is to remove the main bolts that actually hold on the bumper. These are shown on this diagram as A and B. Disconnect the license plate light harness. Remove the remaining bolts on the brackets for the bumper. You will find two 8mm bolts underneath that are also attached to the plastic and the bumper. At this point you can remove the bumper. It's good to have a helper for this step. The next step is to remove the trailer wiring harness. There are a couple of bolts beneath that need to be removed. A series of large bolts behind the frame hold on the hitch. Remove these. Removing the final bolts will allow you to remove the hitch assembly completely. Unpack your hardware and make sure you have all the bolts required to do the install. We had bought the license plate option. If you had bought the license plate, you will need to assemble this also. It's very nicely finished, especially with the powder coating that we got as an additional option. Check
check your welds on the frame. If they aren't drippy and stick out, you will have a hard time sliding the bumper onto the frame. Ours weren't too bad, but we did have to clean up one side quite a bit. We soldered and shrink wrapped the old license plate connector to make a nice clean installation once we put the bumper on. We laid the bumper out on blankets to get prepared to install onto the Jeep. It's a good looking bumper with really nice welds. Notice how we installed the license plate holder. The bumper will be slid onto the existing frame rails. Make sure you had cleaned up your welds really well. There are bolts on the lower and side parts that need to be put into the bumper. Eight bolts in total. Also make sure to reconnect the license plate wire harness. The next step is to install the trailer wiring harness and the plate for holding the chains when you tow. The final step is to install the plates where the back trail lights would go and put in the plugs if you don't have parking sensors. We don't have backup parking sensors so we just use plugs. If you have parking sensors it would be different than this. We ended up getting different brackets at a later time to put LED backup lights in. These are the plastic plugs if you don't have parking sensors. As you can see, the bumper looks great. It's a little dirty because we've been going to the beaches here in Florida, but otherwise it has really held up well in the last year and a half. The D-rings and the lights on the back are extras that we've installed since we put the bumper on. <laughs>